Well, you know, this is a subcommittee of the National Economic Council, and um, our job is really to look into crude oil theft, crude oil con the control of the theft, and the prevention of the theft. And um, arising from that, we've been able to do a lot of uh, fact findings. Of made a lot of consultations. We spoke to critical stakeholders, and uh, we are beginning to see light at the end of the tunnel. It is our hope that at the end of this assignment, we will put up together a report that will be very bold and courageous, that will be useful to make. And if implemented, we we'll stop this monster called crude oil theft, so that the, our natural resources endowed by God, oil and gas, will be able to tap into it and develop our country. Okay, so Do we expect a rise in the price of PMS or do we expect to As Of course, you know the, impl the implication of increasing production and reducing losses is that we will become more solvent. Our Naira will also be stronger and the foreign exchange, access to foreign exchange easier. And the consequence of that is that the cost of living will come down and prices will begin to come down. Inflation will also be reduced. So there are rumors that uh I don't think, and I've not seen it anywhere, that Nigeria is uh, going to import or is importing crude oil. Of course, the sector is gradually being deregulated. There exist now private refineries. Of course, under the open market system, private refineries can buy their crude oil from any market anywhere in the world. But for Nigeria as a country, currently we are exporting crude oil. I pray that there will be a day when we will begin to import crude oil to augment what we have for purposes of manufacturing and stimulating our economic activities. That day, in South Korea, they have 22 refineries and they don't produce one barrel of crude oil. All the crude oil they use for processing or servicing of the refineries are all important. And it's a defined and developed economy. Sir, thank, sorry, thank you, it's okay. So just <laughs> listen, this one question, I think you would like it. Uh, based on your, your findings, how would you uh, factor in the rising uh, impact of uh, discovering of illegal refineries? How do you, do you in your report, does your report intend to approach this problem? We are, those are some of the things we are looking into. Of course, the report will not come to you before going to NEC. By the time we have been able to put together our report, we will send the report to NEC for approval. But there is no doubt in my mind that at the end of the day, all leakage points and all loopholes and things we couldn't do well in the past, if identified, will be corrected. Thank you. Okay.